Welcome back. We are following some big earnings from some big players with that. The big guy himself, Mike Apple, joining us. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Yeah, the, the numbers in from Melanie uh, from Apple, Melanie, are just uh, staggering. Yeah. Let's start with the, the world's most valuable company because, you know, it's worth over $2 trillion uh, on the market. And Apple reported a 54 percent gain in sales year over year. You think the pandemic hasn't fueled sales of iPads and Macs? Yeah, it has. And the iPhone 12 is a hot seller because it's 5G, and apparently people want that. And the profit, $24 billion. Here was an interesting footnote, Melanie. You know, you know, um, uh, a couple of weeks back when the federal government announced that we were spending $101 billion on economic stimulus? Yes. Well, Apple is buying back $90 billion worth of stock. <laughs> so... We get we get these numbers sometimes from, you know, and we just they just they're just kind of mind numbing. They're just so so huge, uh, and uh, Apple is raising its dividend seven percent, and the stock's uh, on the move this morning to the upside. Wow, hard to process. Yeah, hard to process yeah, exactly, where they're at. Right. Um, so, yeah. Mike, I thought and we thought the trend were people moving away from Facebook. Apparently, that's not the case. No. Not at all. <laughs> no. No, no, everybody, I'm deleting Facebook. No, you didn't. 2.8 billion active users up year over year in the latest quarter. Facebook's revenue was up. Profit, $7.5 billion. Stocks at a record high this morning. Yeah. But, but how do you define active user? Because you can still have the account, that's, that's, but maybe that's you're... Their tap, uh, that you're actually using the thing. But that are you're, you? That you're, that, well, they say they claim people are, and their revenue okay. would, would would justify it. So, you know, for all of the hue and cry last year that people were were signing off of social media, I think it's been the exact opposite. Yeah, it has changed. People are looking for different outlets to share and, and connect, right? Yep. Um, Moderna boosting vaccine mm -hmm. production. So this is good news. Yeah, billion uh, doses up to this year, and um, three billion for next. That's 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 pretty. That's actually double what they had said earlier. Um, so the vaccine production is on the rise and it couldn't come too soon, right, um, from all of these uh, vaccine producers. I got my shot earlier uh, last week, actually, uh, and, you know, had the side effects uh, for about a day. And then I felt great afterwards. Good. Good to yeah, know. Didn't, Good to didn't, know. Didn't turn into Chris Evans or anything from Captain America, but whatever. I don't know. What could be under that blazer, Mike? <laughs> Superhero outfit. Um, uh, let's talk about the Canadian dollar. Yep, uh, three-year high, 20, uh, 2018, the last time we saw it at uh, 81 and a quarter cents, Mel. It's, uh, it's a situation where we've got rising commodity prices, oil, way up, copper, wheat, soy, corn, you name it. We're all exporters. Canada's an exporter of all these things, and guess what? The dollar goes up, and the Bank of Canada sounded a little bit more optimistic about the economy as well. The TSX is also at a record high. As of this morning. Hey, there's a new viz on the dollar. Oh, the, yes, we did. We inserted a new yeah. one just nice. for you. And nice. if you were to round up all of those loonies, Mike, you could have potentially bought the tractor of your dreams. <sighs> this story bothers me because I missed it. <laughs> okay, let's yeah. explain. Let's explain. Okay, so the, the tractor that uh, Kevin Costner drove in the movie Field of Dreams was up for auction. Uh, out of a Hollywood auction, even though it was owned by a farmer, Donnie Lansing, who owns the farm where Field of Dreams was shot uh, in Dyersville, Iowa. Now, the tractor sold for either, depends, the auction house says it was 65000 but a couple of other sites says it was close, say it was close to $80,000 for that lovely John Deere 2640. Uh, 70 horsepower on the PTO, just so you know. I don't know what that could means, but sounds it. cool. I know, yeah. I know, I know. But anyway, I could have used it on the farm, but I just didn't have the cake uh, <laughs> lined up, and I honestly forgot about the auction. Prior to the pandemic, Melanie, I was saying to the family, we have to go to Dyersville, Iowa, <gasps> to go and see the Field of Dreams set. And in Dyersville is the National Toy Tractor Hall of Fame. Obviously. Isn't that like the ultimate road trip? Come on. Oh, man. Okay. Toy very, tractors. I know we have to run, Mike, but if you were to put in your bid, how much would you have paid for that tractor? Oh, it's it's priceless. It's priceless. You know? Okay. Yeah. I don't know. It's just, and I, I said I, I said on a tweet last night, I would have demanded a game of catch with Kevin Costner on that in a meeting with James Earl Jones and if you build hear it. him 
Ooh, if you build it. He will come. You yeah. know it. Amazing. Right. Amazing. <laughs> Have a good day, Mike. See ya. He's upset. All right. 618 <laughs> is your time right now. You know who else is upset? A lot of people frustrated trying to figure out where to get their vaccine. Sound familiar? Some residents in hotspot areas say they are getting mixed messages when it's time for them to roll up their sleeves. That story next.